Thunder by the Bay is shifting locations for this year's festival events. SNN's Ben Bobek is live from Gulfgate, the site of one of those events. Good evening, Ben. How are you, Grant? Well, you can see it's a little bit change of scenery, but I think we'll see a similar outcome in terms of the success of the event. I talked to a few of the business owners down from here in Gulfgate and in downtown, and they're excited. Thunder by the Bay is now like thunder on the move. Suncoast Charities for Children announced new venue locations for this year's festival. One of the bigger changes is Friday night's block party. The Gulfgate Area Merchants Association, as well as all the neighbors, are super excited to have Gulfgate as the Friday night location for Thunder by the Bay. It's a huge local event that gives a tremendous amount of money to local charities. The block party moves from downtown, and it's safe to say some business owners don't want to see it go. I was extremely disappointed to uh, hear that they're going out there uh, for the fact that we're going to lose tens of thousands of dollars in revenue. The uh, places like Patrick's, Madison's, uh, Smoke and Joe's, all those places make big money that weekend. Soto says it's not just the restaurants and bars that see the dough. It's spread throughout all businesses in the downtown area. The way it actually works, you know, the waitress that's working over there at uh, one of our restaurants, they have a windfall, so they make extra money. And that day, they can come over and buy sunglasses from me, or they can go over to the toy store and buy, and it's a big circle of, of revenue that goes around. Well, that circle of revenue is now heading south on Tamiami to Gulfgate. And since the area hasn't really hosted anything like this before, they're preparing for their debut. The general plan is going to be uh, superior. The street that we are on is going to be blocked off from Gulfgate Drive to Mall Drive. And then Mall Drive will be blocked off from that same corner up into Gateway. Plans for a large music stage with bands and the Light Up the Night bike show are still on. It's giving Gulfgate and its businesses something they have never experienced. This is going to be the best event that we've had in the amount of time that I've been in Gulfgate or honestly that I've been in business. So it, it'll be a really epically great start to this, the new year. Now, as you can see behind me, Superior, Superior Drive actually will be completely blocked off on that Friday for the block party. Then Mall Drive down there a little bit later in the day as well as Golf Gate Drive. And the business owners here have been really commending the Suncoast Charities for Children for just having a layout plan and really know what they're doing. It's making everything a lot easier for them. So, Ben, are there long-term plans for the festival to stay at Golf Gate? Well, the owners here are really excited about it. just they never really seen the numbers of a number of people that are going to come out here and visit their businesses because of the event. So they're planning for the long term. They would hope that and they're just hoping for a really successful event. And we'll see come January 2017. SNN's Ben Bobick reporting live for us tonight in Gulfgate. Ben, thanks.